Welcome to our lesson six. This time we are going to see a simple experiment on mechanics. Okay? Mechanics. In mechanics, you will get uh, questions that will test knowledge on moments, knowledge on simple harmonic motions, will test the timing, the understanding of oscillation and uh, so on so for today this lesson six a continuation of practical skills practical skills we can write here lesson six we have been dealing with electricity okay now you can be given a simple setup like this you have a stand Okay, and then you have the clamp and the bows. Okay, you have a stand. This is the stand. This is the stand. The whole of this is the stand. Here, this is the stand. Okay, and then you have the clamp at the end of the bows. The bows. The bows facilitates the movement on the clamp okay the boss is the one which will make you shift either the position upward or downward the stand is that vertical road okay the vertical road is the stand like this is the vertical road is the stand then this is the boss boss helps in putting the level of your experiment up or down then you have the clamp which can hold a meter rule in position so when you hear stand bows and clamp there are three components in one now suppose you have been given this you have to hang a spring and take the reading i have put a meter rule here so that you can it can be used to get the reading of the pointer our spring has the pointer the spring has the pointer so what do i do after putting my spring in position i measure the level of the pointer please you must use either the pointer on the left or the pointer on the right do not interchange if the pointer on the left is your reference point then use that throughout the experiment okay like now in this case I will use the pointer on the right so I try and get it the level what is the position of this so is roughly at 41 okay 41 centimeter mark okay so my pointer is at 41 centimeter mark it is somewhere at 41 the meter rule has the reading in descending order and ascending order again you have to be consistent am i using dimensions in ascending order or descending order what do I mean? Like up here, I have 199. So the readings are decreasing downward. On this side, I have the readings which are increasing from the top. Get me right? This side is 1, 2, 3. So they are increasing downward. On the left hand side of my ruler, I have a hundred. You cannot see a hundred because it is exactly at the edge. So the figure that you see is 99, then 98, 97, 96. So the dimensions are decreasing downwards. So we have to pick one side again. Which side are we talking about? My 41 is on the side of increasing downward okay you can
can see 1, 2, 41, it will come down, increasing downward. So if I'm asked to get the position of the pointer, I have to use a half meter rule or your ruler. Then you get the reading of the pointer. I'm using the pointer on the right. So it will remain so throughout. Okay? Now, I may be asked to hang a particular mass. So I hook it. And then you can see it is stretched. The spring now is stretched. Okay? The string is stretched. I can tell where the pointer is now. Okay? I can get the pointer 2. Reading number 2. Reading number 2. Okay? So, let us see. I want to get the pointer reading when a mass of 100 gram is hanging. 100 gram. I've used 100 gram. 100 gram mass is hanging. I get the new position of the the pointer. So I take that, for example, 45.5. So I have 45.5. Okay. So we have a good, a good, I want to focus a bit so that we are able to see. Let me try and see if I can focus there. This can see now that I have this. So we've said roughly 45.5. Okay. 45.5 here. I have that. So what next? What do I need to do? Having gotten 45.5, I can now go ahead and get extension. Okay, what will be extension? Extension is equal to 45.5 minus 41.0. So you get 4.5 centimeter. Okay, that is how I would get my extension. So what is extension? It is a reading minus original reading. The reading you are taking, you subtract the original reading. Then you will get the extension. In some cases, you will be required to measure the lengths or the heights. Okay, like here, you can measure the height of the initial, initial height of the spring and the height, the new height of the spring when a mass is hanging, you can also get what is extension. Okay? So, try to practice. Do not take it for granted. Know how you can clamp your meter room. Know how you can hang your spring. Know how you can hang a given mass. Okay? So that is the basic thing you can do. Now, I want us to get the procedure right. One, arrange items the way they are. Okay? Arrange the items the way they are. The way they appear. In mechanics, after you have arranged, you have to see the practicability the workability is it really within the range of the dimension given in the diagram can i carry out the experiment and fill the table the way i'm given sometimes you may find you have to do these experiments at the edge of the bench at the edge of the bench especially when we are talking about pendulum, okay? 
this stand is not more than one meter yet the table requires a length of one meter so you may arrange but the workability tells you this pendulum has to be at the edge so that when the bob is suspended it allows me to measure a length of 100 meters uh, centimeters okay the second part i want to just bring to your attention is in some cases we may be asked to slightly displace the mass and get time for 10 oscillations or 20 oscillations so i want us to understand the the stopwatch this stopwatch as you can see if i may remove my glasses the stopwatch Okay, it has seconds, it has hundreds of seconds. So if I press, you must always in the, exper in the lab, you must always start, stop, and then reset. You have to practice that on your own. You start. You can see it moving. The, first, the very first part is hundreds of a second. Its counting is very fast. Then you will see seconds start changing. Okay? These are now the seconds. And when we are asked to fill the table, do not say zero point. You cannot measure anything in the tune of zero point. It cannot be measured in the tune of zero point. Okay? So what happens, you will have to study before you carry out the experiment. Before you carry out the experiment, try and play around with the stopwatch. You start, you stop, and you reset. From the right side, the two zeros, they represent hundredth of a second. Then the next two, they represent the seconds. Then you can have the minutes. So it is very rare to do an experiment in the practical with minutes. It's very rare. They normally test your accuracy on seconds. For example, if I start, already I am moving to 4 seconds, 5 seconds, 6 seconds, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I stop, then this is 12.5. See, this is about minute, this is second, this is hundredth of a second that's why i can say point okay it must be very clear common mistake is student write those 10 oscillation have taken 0 0.1250 that is wrong folks so we must understand this gadget first okay so i'm going to demonstrate i'm going to demonstrate a slight displacement of the mass I want to focus, if we can focus our camera, there, sorry, there, I want us to focus there, there, you are able to see, okay, so slight displacement and then it oscillates, okay, it oscillates, and then I can, I will start on a particular and I would want to start it from down. So it is not a must as I start, I start the stop. No, it is oscillating, a slight displacement. So you have that simple harmonic motion. Now, I will start from here, from down. So I check, I say, when I start, I will say zero. So that as it goes, when it comes back, that is when I count one. So here we are. 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? I got 4.75. 4.75. Don't write 0 0.04. That's wrong. This is 4 point. Remember, these are seconds. These are seconds here. These are seconds. This is a minute. Seconds. Hundredth of a second. So this is 4.75. So I want to do it again and I see my accuracy. So I will cancel, reset, and then I start. Again, I time when it is down. Zero, and then I go on. Don't say one. Okay? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see? 4.69. We can be writing them here. 4.69, 4.78. You can see there is consistency. Okay? Right. I'll start again just to show you. This is slightly displaced. If you do it very big, if you give it a very big displacement, then you tend to lose some accuracy. So I slightly displace, and then I am there, I am ready, then I time, okay, I time when it is down, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, if you check, you get 4.88, 4.88, so I'm writing 4. 0.88 okay so it is within the range of accuracy when you are told to displace do not pull it so much down just a slight give it a slide then it will go okay that is the way it is done so I hope you are able to understand this if I may put it here okay we have zero and then it is like that, and then this. So we are talking about here, it is this minute, these are second, here is a hundredth of second. Okay? So 0 0.04, and then you see 7, 8, that this, if you are recording, I record 4.78 seconds. This is the correct way. Okay, maybe another one. Another one, suppose I have... There. So we shall have 12.46 seconds. That is the way it is read. And now, before I finish, I want to bring another version of simple harmonic motion. Okay? You have this, and you have the pendulum, which are most common. So let me bring the, the other version. I have now this is another version, okay? So we have there. I think the camera can accommodate up to that point. Again, you can be told, you can be told, count 10 oscillations. So remember, you must know how to start, to stop, and reset. So I give it a slight displacement. Don't give it a very big angle. No. The angle of displacement should be small. So slightly on the side, I let it go. I am not panicking. I have done my work. Start, stop, reset. I know it is zero. So I start from one end. 
The other one, I was starting from bottom. Bottom to the equilibrium level, to the end and back. So I, my counting starts with zero. So like here, I will do zero. It will go to equilibrium, go to the extreme right. Okay. I will start here, zero. It will come to the central position. It will go to the extreme right and then central position and back. So that is what we call one. If I may just pull it a bit here before, you see, zero. It goes up to the extreme end, then it comes back, then we call that is one. Zero, one. Okay? Zero, one. Zero, come back, one. So your count must be scientific. Don't just start saying one. It means you are cutting off the original oscillation. So, slight displacement, you let it go. I set myself. I'll start my counting to the extreme here. So I say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Twelve, twelve point seven five. So I will do it twice so that we compare accuracy. I can rub this, all this. So I've, I've gotten, this is the way it is appearing. So record. What are you going to record? You're going to record 12.75 seconds. 12.75 seconds that. So we can do it again and check our accuracy. Start, let it go. And then I'm ready. I will start from this end. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. This time, what am I getting? You can look at that. 12.60. So we have, this is the way it is. So record 12.60 second. So this is the way you record. Okay. I hope you have learned that you may have stopwatch, carry out the experiment, record wrong things. So we want you to improve. Carry out the experiment the right way, time the oscillation the right way, and then record the correct things. Please, it is very difficult that you may get 10 oscillations within 0 0.12 seconds is somehow impossible okay you may know this by testing with counting normal counting 100 200 100 200 it will be there so 100 200 300 400 those are four seconds Okay? You can practice this and get the right way. The rest of the table, they require some computation. I may have given you mass in grams and the table requires force in newtons. You must know the direct shift. Computation from grams to newtons requires a hundred division by a hundred. Division by a hundred takes you from grams to newtons. I will stop there, folks. Keep on subscribing so that you get whatever new comes on your way. Subscribing does not mean paying money. It is only getting notification. Bye-bye.